You're watching a Nova video podcast. So both planets have major similarities. The sun is the, the source of energy in both cases. The sun is driving the circulation of the air and it's driving it in the same kinds of ways. We have a hot equator in, in both cases and a colder polar region. Both planets also have icy polar caps and they both rotate with a, a period of around 24 hours. The day on Mars is 24 hours and around 40 minutes. And the other thing that's very similar and, and quite bizarrely similar is that both planets, they, they're, they're tilted with respect to their orbit around the sun. And that's what gives both of those planets seasons. So both planets have those major similarities. And that's kind of where the similarities stop, I guess. The big differences are Mars is a little further away from the sun. So we'd expect temperatures to be cooler. At the equator, temperatures in the morning might be minus 50, say, and then at 2 p.m., you'd be up to zero or plus 10. So that huge change is very different from Earth. So while the Earth atmosphere is around 80% nitrogen and 16% oxygen, the Mars atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide. With its atmosphere of carbon dioxide and its low temperatures, each winter, about 30% of the whole atmosphere freezes out onto the polar caps. So on top of the, the water ice, there's a layer of carbon dioxide ice as well. The amount of water is very tiny. If all the water in the skies above froze down onto the surface, we're looking at a layer of water on the surface of Mars that's you know, thinner than a human hair. You know, it's, it's a tiny, tiny amount of water. Mars is a dry, icy planet, and it, its atmosphere is, is much thinner than the Earth. It's about 1% of the pressure of the Earth's atmosphere. And what this actually means is the pressure is so low that water isn't actually stable in its liquid form. So if you have a glass of water on Mars, it would instantly evaporate. And, and that's just a function of the surface pressure there. The Phoenix mission produced uh, weather reports for the first 90 days that were fairly constant. Uh, it really would have been a fun time to be there, you know, if you like clear, sunny weather. And then at the end of that time, that's when we started to see quite interesting cloud formations. We could see that they were moving by at altitude at some speed, and you can see them forming and evaporating as well. And we started to see these dust devils. A dust devil is a mini tornado, a little whirlwind that is lifting dust off the surface. And we did start to see frost. And we saw this quite beautifully as well. For the very first time, we saw evidence that crystals of water ice were actually falling out of the clouds. And, and that was the basis of our discovery of, of snow on Mars. In the future, as long as we all had spacesuits on, I, I think there would be a lot of fun things to do. There's lots to explore. I'm sure it's very pretty as well. So for people who, are, who like exploring the unknown, it would be a fabulous place to go to.